Dr. Carter had a tear in his eye. I could tell he felt for me. And he said, son, I'm sorry to say you're not gonna box again. Vinny was involved in a very serious car accident that nearly killed him. It broke his neck. I will tell you this, there is no more destructive belief in the world than to think that life happens to you. The first thing you do is you play what I call the blame game. After months of rehab against doctor's orders, he got back in the ring. You start blaming everybody for why you don't have what you want. You'll blame the government, you'll blame your family, you'll blame your spouse, you'll blame your boss, you'll blame the economy, you'll, you'll blame anybody and everybody when you think the world happens to you. You're powerless. The second thing you do is you justify. It is because, because the economy stinks, it's because people are unfair to me. And I looked at him, I said, no, Dr. Cotty, you're wrong. I am gonna box again. And Vinny Pazienza is a junior middleweight champion of the world. They justify. Third, and this is the worst one of all, is they complain. When you're complaining, what are you focusing on? And everything, again, life, most of life comes down to psychology, doesn't it? It starts here, in the internal world. Before you can master the external world, you have to master your own internal world. That's the true secret to success. You really have to have a passion about it and you have to have a reason to succeed. You can't, it isn't to be just something that you want to be. You don't understand what kind of man I am. The number one thing that's going to change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship, is you must raise your standard. The only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards. That all of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. The difference in people is their standards, period. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should spend more time with my kids. I should work harder. I should make more calls. I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change.
If you want to take the island, and you're the head of the army, and you want to take the island, the most powerful way to take the island is burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must to do something versus a should. That's what makes human beings succeed. We don't get what we want, we get what we have to have. Every human being is thirsty for a vision. Everyone is. And so few people have one. So what do they do? They gravitate towards someone who has a vision for the future because they want to be a part of a vision. There's got to be something above your goals. And that's your vision for the future. And it's not just about, it doesn't have like an ending point. It's about the world being a certain way. And that's inspiring to you. When, you. when you truly have a vision for your future that inspires you, you're going to jump up out of bed in the morning and feel great about going at life versus being miserable and going to a job you hate or living a life that doesn't empower you and just, you know, every day moving through just almost like an automaton, not really, you know, having the zest and the, great, the greatness of life. As a matter of fact, I love it when someone says that never, no one has ever done this before because then when I do it, that means that I'm the first one that has done it. So pay no attention to the people that say it can't be done. It's not because you set your goals too high and miss. You set your goals too low and you hit them. The difference in people is their standards, period. And I looked at him, I said, no, Dr. Cotter, you're wrong. I am going to box again. It's that extra inch. That's where you want to set your goal. You want to set the goals just above your comfort zone. And I'm talking about not what your parents and teachers want you to be, but you. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. I don't think it's that hard. I think what happens though sometimes is that we let our intellectual selves overrule those passions. Uh, and so that's what needs to be guarded against. To tell you how much power you have in your mind. We are all a work in progress. We are all a work in progress. I just want to remind you of the power of the mind. You can create the outcome of your hour, your week, your month, and your year. You just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be. But there's a more power in the mind than you probably like to think and give yourself credit for. And I looked at him. I said, no, Dr. Carter, you're wrong. I am going to box again. <laughs>